So this is your snapshot uh, about just in general uh, the structure of a very, 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 very important molecule in biology known as an enzyme. So first of all, um, to kind of piggyback off of the uh, biomolecule lecture that we have recently completed, um, an enzyme is a macromolecule or a bi biomolecule in the protein category. So an enzyme is a protein. Not a carbohydrate, not a lipid, not a nucleic acid. Enzymes are proteins. Okay? This slide is just meant to show some of the basic, um, I guess, anatomy, you would call it, of an enzyme and another important molecule that uh, kind of relates to an enzyme known as a substrate. So, first of all, right down here, this yellow shape, this big yellow blob, is your enzyme. So this represents a three-dimensional protein. Okay? We'll talk a little bit more about what an enzyme does uh, in uh, uh, slides that are coming up here in a little bit, but for right now there is your enzyme. Another important term you need to know from this slide is that enzymes are designed to make reactions happen with certain molecules. Those molecules are called substrates. So the definition of a substrate is the, the molecule or the substance that the enzyme is designed to react with. Okay, So this enzyme is designed to react specifically with that substrate and that substrate alone. Okay. A final important term you need to know from this slide is this one right here, the active site. Okay, So the active site is a surface on the enzyme or a, a kind of a nook in a cranny, some type of portion of the surface of the enzyme that the substrate fits into. Okay, So the enzyme is a, is a large protein, the substrate is the molecule that it is designed to react with, and the active site is an area of surface on the enzyme that the substrate fits into so that that reaction can take place. And when the substrate attaches to the active site of the enzyme, we get this last term known as the enzyme-substrate complex, where we have the enzyme, we have its substrate, and we have them attached to each other along that active site, that surface of the enzyme where the substrate is supposed to attach. And a really common analogy that we use to talk about uh, substrates and enzymes is a good old-fashioned key and a lock. Okay? So first of all, orient yourself here. If we're going to talk about the enzyme first, the enzyme is a lot like a lock. The reason we say the enzyme is a lot like a lock because the 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 keyhole here has a very specific interior portion. I know we can't see that because the, the outside of the lock is blocking it, but kind of if you look at this diagram over here, if this were the inside of the lock, the, the keyhole is kind of like the active site. It has a very specific configuration that only certain keys can fit into. So if the enzyme uh, is kind of like a lock, then the keyhole itself is kind of like the active site. Okay. which makes the key, the very specific structure that is designed to fit into that keyhole or that active site, the substrate. Okay. And then when you have the key fully inserted into the lock and interacting with the lock inside that keyhole, then here we have our enzyme substrate complex. Okay. So it's just a really good example to keep in mind that enzymes are like locks. They only attach with very specific certain keys called their substrates, and the location where they attach, known as the active site, is kind of like the keyhole. It's located on the, the enzyme or the lock, not on the surface of the key or the substrate. 